What is up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at my 1989 Dover Impulse Elevator internal car lantern, which I got from the elevator at 2000 South and Naperville Road. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys the back side of it, uh, showing you guys how it works, taking a look at it, and then we're going to be testing it. So um, before I get started with that though, I just thought I'd uh, point out just for the record that as of Wednesday or Thursday uh, of last week, um, the elevator that this part came off of is no more. Um, the whole part of the building that had the elevator in it has been completely torn down. It's all demolished. Um, so the elevator car, the elevator shaft is just no more. That part of the building is completely gone. There's just a little bit of the building uh, still standing, uh, plus the basement, but the elevator car is completely gone. So anyway, let's take a look at the lantern. Um, like I said, this part is from 1989, and, uh, you know, for being on the elevator, it's it's seen some better days. Let's get on my knees here so I can show you guys better. As you guys can see from the reflection in my window, it's got some scratches on the top lantern, and the down lantern is also a little bit beat up. Um, these are the covers here with the arrows on them, and then let's take a look at the back of the lantern. There goes the chime box. Um, here's the lantern itself. Um, or the uh, back side of it anyway. So the this big box you see here that says install up on it, it's got all these uh, stickers on it. This is the chime. This lantern, um, these lanterns usually do come with the chime box and this is the box that produces the Dover Impulse chime sound. Um, behind this, I believe these uh, kind of tam parts are called the reflectors, but correct me if I am wrong, I believe these are called the reflectors. And uh, the reflectors have um, two sockets in them each. This is the up arrow. It's got two sockets for two light bulbs. And that's where the light bulbs uh, plug into uh, to light the arrows up. There's two up there, and there's two down here. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I believe that bulb is burned out on this one, so that's going to have to be replaced, but that one does work. I think that's why they put two bulbs on these things. So if the one bulb does fail, the other one will still light to show the car, uh, the direction the car is going in. So let's try to move the chime box here. You guys can see the other two sockets down there. If the camera will focus. There we go. There's the two sockets down there. And that's basically what the lantern is made up of. There's three wires coming out of the lantern. Now, um, there's obviously all the wires coming out of the sockets, all the wires coming out of the chime, and um, they had to, um, on these parts, they have them all tied together in a bunch of different ways. They got them all tied together into three, uh, they, got, they got them all tied together down into three wires. And um, how this works, let's go ahead and turn the lantern forward again. Um, how this works is you got three wires, as I was just saying, and um, you, the one wire is the common wire. It's um, the negative wire, and it's the common. And then the two other wires, um, the one wire is the down wire, and the one wire is the up wire. So basically all they do is you, if you connect the up wire, um, the up lantern will light. If you connect the down wire, the down lantern will light. Pretty simple. So... I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a test here. Um, I'm going to test the up lantern and the down lantern. And uh, keep in mind when I connect the wire, you will hear the chime too. And um, the chime will only stay on for about two or three seconds, just as it's supposed to be. The chime stays on for two or three seconds, and the lantern will remain lit. So let's go ahead and test this out. I've already got the, the common. Let's go ahead and turn my light on here, see if that helps any with the lighting in here. A little bit. Um, I've got the common wire connected to the negative on my two 24 volt batteries, by the way. Uh, these bulbs and the chime are capable of taking 24 volts DC. And I've got two 12 volt batteries here, which are, uh, usually from my fire alarm panel. And they will be when I get, uh, the panel from the building. But anyway, the common goes into the negative and then let's unscrew the wire nut on this positive wire. And we're just gonna, gonna go ahead and touch the wires here. Let's start with the up wire. And uh, I had to label them just so I know which does which. 
So basically all you have to do is touch the wire and the lantern will come on. There's the up lantern and the up chime. Kind of mess that up. Pretty cool, not too much to see there, but as you guys can see, the top bulb on there is lit, but there's, uh, you can see that there's light coming from the top of it, but there's no light coming from the bottom. That tells me that the top bulb is working fine, the bottom one is not. Now let's go ahead and change wires here to the down wire, and let's go ahead and test the down lantern. Uh, first, I'm just going to touch the wire and see what it does, and then we're actually going to pulse it as if it was actually con um, connected to the elevator controller. So let's do this. There's the down lantern. Now, as you guys can see on this one, uh, the light is coming from two sources, so that means both bulbs are working. Now, keep in mind, like I just said, I don't have the elevator controller, nor do I want it too badly. Um, I don't have the ele elevator controller to pulse this chime. So if this was on the elevator, the controller would be pulsing the chime two times for down. But as you guys just saw, I connected it and it only rang one time. So we have to manually pulse it by doing that. So let's go ahead and do the uh, standard uh, Dover Impulse down chime by pulsing it manually. There's that. Probably could have done a little bit better with my timing. Sorry guys, that got kind of messed up. I was touching the plastic. There's that. Now we're going to go ahead and do a, uh, a few different combinations here. Um, I've seen some Dover Impulse controllers that will pulse them a bunch of different ways. On the older Dover Impulses, sometimes the controllers um, pulse the down chimes a little bit differently. So let's uh, demonstrate a few I've seen. I've seen that before. I've also seen this. And uh, for now, that's pretty much all I can think of. But those are two different uh, variations of the Dover Impulse down chime. But like I said before, this is the most basic. Let's get a little bit closer up on the chime so you guys can hear it a little bit better. There you guys go. There's the down chime. Take the wire off, and it turns off. So there you guys go. There's the uh, the 1989 Dover Impulse Car Lantern.